Hi guys, this is your favorite mystic, The Siren Says, and welcome back to my commentary channel where I speak about movie, TVs, and books, and the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in, throughout, and between all those frames of media. Guys, it's a good day. It's a good day. Usually in the beginning, I give a disclaimer, and I say Tyler Perry don't know what he's doing, but if he keeps just this particular part of the story up, I will be fine with this show forever. Like, it was all worth it if my favorite character gets what she deserves. So let's just get into the disclaimers. These people are not real, okay? We're complaining about the characters, which is why we can get passionate, because it's just theoretical, okay? People will have different feelings if it was real, but it's theoretical, so we're gonna have opinions and passions that don't make sense or whatever, okay? It's all right. If you disagree with whatever I say or whatever somebody in the comments says, just reply and be like, hey, I disagree with this, because and give what you would like to say always make sure to be respectful um the last video didn't get many views i'm pretty sure that's because i posted it too early i guess you guys only expect it on saturdays so this one will come out on saturday as well saturdays would be sister saturday okay um yeah but just for good measure tyrone you better keep this up you better keep this up or i will rampage vocally okay Let's just get into the best part of it, and then we can go into everything else later. So, <laughs> yes! So, Destin has returned. Destin is back. I've never been, I've never been happier. I, this is what I wanted, guys. I, I've said a couple videos before, if you are a returning watcher, you'll know. I have said that one of the things that kept me watching the show like a season two seasons ago um that kept me coming was everybody was kind of in a different version of turmoil not as much turmoil as they're in now but like you know light turmoil relationship turmoil but danny had the more grounded relationship the more peaceful relationship like the biggest issue she had is that preston would just walk in unannounced like that was like the biggest issue at the time and that when they do um have regular small talk they can't agree on what to discuss because she's just not interested in what he like you know just regular real life problems that you know are not filled with drama of course tyler perry had to turn it up and make all of those things matter to danny but he has flipped it around now i will say just a caveat nothing is perfect i I knew it was coming, I saw the ad, but as I was watching it, I was like, where is this even coming from? Where is the, where is the add-on to this scene? I feel like there's a scene missing that should lead to this that I'm not getting. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we should have seen Danny say something or do something to show that this is where she was leading. I guess the scene where Preston admitted to her or told her that she literally spilled her whole heart out to him was supposed to be the adjoining scene to be like hey this is to tell us as a viewer that she does love him so if she comes and tries to be with him you're not supposed to be shocked but she didn't know she did that she literally forgot you know what i mean so i just really i'm just i'm just you know i'm just a little bit confused about that so so sorry about that noise interruption but yes i'm just very happy about this um i don't even usually say i'm happy about certain things because look i'll say it now i like this but that doesn't mean that it's gonna stay this way it doesn't mean that tyler perry won't try to do something dramatic if if he keeps up the momentum of dustin danny and preston that means that the show is probably close to being done like within two more seasons the show might be over that's the only way that relationship could survive um or he's just gonna throw another wrench in the works because there's always a wrench to be thrown but yeah i just i loved it um she walked in he was cooking shirtless you know how preston is he's just mm -mm -mm. trinity is a fine man and danny was just like smiling at him like hi and that's when I was just like, okay, different body language, all that, you know. 
Of course she was being regular Danny for five seconds. What are you doing here? What's going on? You don't have to stay here. You know, he's not going to bother me. It's okay. But she's just like, you know, it's good that you're here. I like that you're here. And then she was like, you know, he was listening to her when she said, I don't want to talk about this. He, he dropped it, showing that he's learning to cover her boundaries. Um, and then she was like, you know, I think we should try. I think we should try to be together. And I was just, I saw it coming, but I was still screaming and doing the most and fangirling over this moment. Like I didn't know it was going to happen. Like <clears throat> it was, it was funny, but yeah. So Preston was just so happy. He had to double check. Like, Are you sure? She was like, yes, I'm sure. Do I have to explain to you? He's like, no, 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 you have to explain. I just, I just want to make sure. And I'm like, I'm like, girl, you know he has to make sure playing with you. <laughs> and then when he said, you know how long I've been waiting for you? I said, Preston, we all been waiting. We've been waiting on Tyler Perry to make this a reality. Because let, let's talk about that, right? Um, Danny and Preston have slept with other people since they've been together or dated around with other people since they've been together. So I feel like the, the excuse that people love to give with like Zach and Fatima, like when he cheated on her with Karen, um, by sleeping with Karen, they were like, oh, they weren't officially together. She was still debating whether or not she wanted to actually date him. And you know how crazy she is for actually dating him after that, but whatever. So I feel like Danny and Preston, they were more like not really together. Because Danny is very non-committal, like more non-committal than Fatima. So I feel like that's why it makes more sense for me personally for them to try and be together after everything that happened. Because they actually were not together. Preston was just pushing up the relationship he really wanted. Whereas with Zach and Fatima, they were kind of actually together. Like neither of them were really saying no, no, no. They just didn't fully put a label on it. A label was all that was required. And he cheated on her before that label came about. I don't care what nobody says. So sorry. Um, but yeah. Um, one of the funniest parts that I seen with Danny and Preston was when she said just one thing. And I was like, I was okay with that. Because I'm like, you know, there has to be caveats or whatever. And she was just like, I don't want to hear about Mindy anymore. And he was like, Mindy who? And she was like, damn, that hurts. Ouch. But I was like, you see, Mindy really affected her. Mindy really affected her. And I, I like that because like I said, Tyler likes to play daddy's character very ambiguous. Like, you know what she needs, but you're not sure what she wants. You know, so you know that Preston is something that she needs in her life. But does she want him? You're not super sure because she's always kind of aloof and yeah, but no, but yeah, but no. That's kind of her whole character. So I was glad to know that, you know, the subtle hints because they were super subtle that Tyler was dropping with her character of her getting drunk because of the Abubu, A-B-U-S-E, and, um, because of Preston, like Preston drove her to the edge. Preston was causing her to, to lash out because she has her own issues and she reacts negatively to certain things. So I, I, I don't know. It kind of made me a little happy to know that, you know, she got jealous of Preston being like, cause you know, she was acting like she didn't care. She's acting like she could have moved at any time, but I'm glad that they, Tyler did a little things in this scene to show that yes, all of these things did affect Danny. She was in love with Preston the whole time. She just didn't know what to do. Like that is what was happening here. And I really appreciate that because I needed that. I needed to know that that's what was happening with her character. I needed to get a little bit of validation there. So that I wasn't just imagining that because I ship her with Preston. No, that's what, that's what Tyler was actually doing with her character, you know? Yes, that's what Tyler was actually doing with her character. It, I wasn't just imagining it because I ship her with Preston. Because sometimes you need that, you know? So, they're great. And once again, they are the cool down of the show. The heart of the show. What does that mean? It means when all the other girls are going crazy and doing the stupidest things, I know that I can relax because Danny and Preston are on my screen. 
so I can relax when I see them. And I really appreciate that because I was hating the era of time when the cool down was seeing Gary and Andy like you can relax because Denny and sorry, Gary and Andy are on my screen. No, no, it just felt gross. Now I'm back to being actually relaxed in the middle of the show. We love to see it. The scene wasn't long enough for me. It wasn't long enough for me. I'm be honest. But I will say I did I did enjoy it. Um, I love Preston. He's such a little boy. He's so cute. Like he was like, I think we should celebrate this with a nice meal. She's like, yeah, you right about to sit down. You know, he cooked for her as usual, as usual. And she, he was just like, oh no, damn this meal. He's like, damn it, what? And he's like, we need to go out. And she's like, oh, oh, darn. And she started making fun of his accent a little bit. You know, just bantering, having fun. I loved it so much. Because he was just like, no, like, we can leave this for leftovers. You and I are going out. I'm, I'm, you're mine now? You're my girl? I'm showing you off. I'm showing you off in public. I'm proud to have you. And she was just like, so we not going nowhere with, like, plastic plates and forks right no crab shacks with bibs he's like um i don't even know what that is but maybe we can bring you somewhere with the finest styrofoam can buy <laughs> he was joking but you know i just i just loved it and she was she went to go get ready and then the, the stuff happened with karen that i'll bring up later but i i saw something else in this scene then he's my favorite character because of how right she is majority of the time like even when i didn't fully agree with her when it came to her hang-ups with preston in the beginning of their relationship she wasn't completely wrong i just felt like she could have easily gotten over those things which yeah we're seeing that i was right but she wasn't wrong he was overstepping her boundaries they do need to find some more stuff than just good sex in common they do need to work on their relationship and i'm completely okay with that being their story i'm okay with them being the quote-unquote boring part of the show i'm completely okay with that i like them together that much preston also works well with other characters like zach so for all of you who love zach like i love preston and zach's relationship like i just never wanted him to leave the show and i'm glad that tyler never did that and i'm glad that now they're being more solidified and they are officially the heart of the show they're my favorite danny is always my favorite character i had to demote her a few times in the last two seasons because tyler was just doing too much with her character but she's back she's back where i need her and did you see let me just dip into the karen section for a second did you see when she was trying to tell karen something with common sense as usual and karen tried to deflect so why you look so dressed up danny and she was like preston's taking me out just just quick quick she wasn't even nervous. You know how before she was kind of nervous to talk about Preston. Like, oh, I'm dating a white boy. I don't know. I'm dating a man of palm colored complexion. I don't know. But she was just like, no, Preston's taking me out. Did you see how she looked? She looked the bad. good. Danny looked good. Good. I was like, yes, peace and prosperity. Is that not what I said in the last in the last uh, review, I said peace and prosperity to Danny and Preston, and everybody else can go to hell. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I said Danny and Preston should have peace and prosperity, and the rest of them can go off somewhere. And that's exactly what happened in this episode. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, um, last thing I'll say about them I just love that. Now, this is in hindsight. Like, I didn't enjoy it in the moment, but. I'm pretending that this is what Tyler Perry meant to happen because I don't know. But everything that happened with him dating other women and him semi being serious with Mindy but not really and how that all affected Danny and made her jealous and made her feel away. I like that now she's finally seeing Preston in a fuller light. Like, oh, I didn't even need to go through all that with him. He is serious about me. He is obsessed with me. I don't think Danny has ever been in a relationship where she was so sure of a guy. Danny was kind of treating Preston like Karen treats Aaron a little bit in the middle of their um, love story because she knew he would just always be there. That's why, you know, when she was going through that 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 really rude time where she slept with the buck guy and she slept with the IT stripper dude and Preston walked in on those instances. Um, she was just kind of using him like, okay. He's kind of the best I got right now, but I'm not really into him like that. He's always going to be there. She was disrespecting him because she didn't have much respect for herself. 
and I like how through pain and long suffering Preston was able to show her like yo you are worth it I'm obsessed with you you're the only one here um quote unquote better women could come along you know women that have stuff in common with me like he met the black girl who actually understood the cow stuff can you know Preston prefers women of noir complexion so that that girl who was like a doctor or a veterinarian or something so she she liked cows too that is technically a better fit for him but he was like look it doesn't even matter if i find a black girl who has more in common with me you're what i want and it doesn't matter if i find a white girl that i grew up with who knows me you are what i want he was he really put her on a pedestal and i love that because she needs that i don't think like danny be acting like oh nah, 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 nah. but i was glad that she like preston enables her to have the andy ego you know how andy is just like Ugh. I'm this, I'm that, you know, I'm good at what I do. Like, I needed Danny to have that. And I'm glad that Preston kind of allows her to have that healthiness of self-worth. Of like, yeah, like, this guy's never going to leave me because I am worth it. I can finally feel like I'm worth it in a relationship. And I really, I really love that for Danny and Preston. Um, peace and prosperity once more. Wedding bells, I'm here for it um tyler please don't give them too much mess like make it be that they're trying to figure out mundane stuff like it's meet the pains like i don't i don't want no more oval type drama with them i want meet the pains level drama with them now let them just try to fix their own personal relationship like they're bam and curtis thank you very much if you know those references of course you watch a lot of tyler perry stuff ayo twin and them Okay, so next, let's get to the next phase. I'm never going to forget them ever. Tamira and Hayton. Not much to say. Um, Gary didn't find anything because when you become a stripper, unless you're doing a lot, like there's not much for you to find or the madame scrubs whatever record they could get. So he didn't find anything about her. And that actually enables Hayden to not do the annulment immediately. Dumbass. I saw a lot of people commenting that they hope that they actually fall in love. I wouldn't mind it. Um, people are annoying me so much that I'm more open to liking hate now than I was two years ago. Because two years ago, it was hate to get off my screen. But like I said, he's one of the best actors in the show. And I really don't mind his character anymore. Because honestly, when he's with Tamara, he's not even focusing on Fatima and Zach no more. And that makes him way less annoying. And, you know, most of the time he over there just clowning Gary. So honestly, I kind of like him a little bit. If he if people don't like him, I get that. If he comes off the show, I don't mind. But considering now he's leaving Fatima and Zach alone and just clowning Gary the whole time, I don't mind him. So if they end up falling in love for real, I wouldn't mind that. But I don't think Tyler's going to do that because he's kind of slated Hayden as a villain. So more than likely, she she's going to use him. Or she's going to begin to use him, feel bad, fall for him, then he'll find out, and then they'll have a fight. So we'll see what happens with them. Um, let's get into Gary and Andy really quick. Yeah, we're speeding through, because the part that made me happy is the part I talked about the most, which is new for me. Be happy for me. So, uh, he got petty. Um, one thing I was happy about with Andy is that she was like, when I told you the truth, I was like, ooh, Yes! yes thank you tyler perry don't take back nothing don't take nothing back i would bring up her conversation with fatima but i don't want to her begging fatima to get back with zach really upset me and i'll talk about that a little later but you know she stuck it she stuck it to gary said that was the truth gary tried to pretend that she's not good but she had evidence that she is good because guys don't fake stuff like that anyways so they moved on he treats her whole truth stuff like she's lying and sets up a rendezvous at her house from what i saw in the trailer it looks like she's actually going to do it which is why i just can't give andy anything i try my hardest to see if there's something i can give andy and then she just i squeaked i was like andy don't you dare but there we go in the previews. Andy just, just, girl. At this point, Robin needs to, needs to give you an exorcism. Because this is just ridiculous. Like, get this man. And then the man doesn't even want to sleep with you. He just, he just wanted, he just wanted to put power over you. 
Just like what Berta said. He just wanted to know that you would show up. He just wanted to know that you would show up, Andy. You let him play you like this? Oh, my God. Girl, you, you make me sick. Let's talk about the conversation with Fatima. Fatima, rightfully so, saw everything that Roberta was saying, saw the red flags and the parallels in her own relationship, and decided she ain't going and she don't want to do this. Andy tried to stop her the whole way, planting all of these seeds of doubt like she was a gardener, and then tried to pile on the guilt by saying, you guys give me hope. What hope? You're, you're happily playing along with Gary. What do you need hope for? Stop playing with me, Andy. Stop. Because you want to make me upset with you right now. What, 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 what are you even talking about? What, who cares? Who cares, Andrea? Who cares? She is so... I, I can't stand Andy. Over there planting all these seeds of Don Fatima when she's right. Now, I know some people shift Fatima with Zach because it's a TV show. But in real life, they might want her to leave. So I get that. I, I don't hate y'all who think that she should be with Zach. I get it. It's a TV show. Everybody has that toxic couple that they want to be together, even though in real life they really shouldn't. Everybody has that. I just don't like them in this show necessarily, but whatever. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's Andy. That's Andy for now. Um, let's get to Sabrina and them. Sabrina comes over to get Maurice abreast of what happened. Maurice is like talking to him and gonna solve nothing. Yet he goes over to Q to talk to him. Maurice, where where is it? Where where is the common sense? Did Q steal your common sense? Did he steal it? I'm trying to figure out if he stole it. Cause I don't understand why you keep acting like this. You're being rude to Sabrina. And that's the thing, right? Like, in the preview for the next episode, uh, I can't even remember. Calvin is, is you know, coming at him, saying he needs to have more respect for Sabrina because she is literally dealing with the aftermath of Maurice's mistakes. And he's like, do you want me to feel even worse? It's like, you, you never act like you realize the gravity of the situation until a conversation like this comes up. Then you're like, I do feel bad. I swear I do. Like, bro act like it i know some people take jokes in serious conversations because that's how they cope but don't be disrespectful to the people who are in a mess that you put them in and are trying to get you out of the mess at the same time sabrina i may not like how she treats danny all the time but she is a decent friend and you do not deserve her bro you do not you don't even deserve Calvin, and Calvin ain't even my favorite at most times. Do better, Maurice. Please do better. Because I don't even understand what you're on about at this point. Anyways, um, Andy somehow tried to get the girls to go over to Karen's. I'm not sure why. I, I don't. Maybe she just felt like she needed to talk to Karen. But I, like I said, there was a few scenes in this episode where you're missing the add-on. Like... How did Andy get to getting all the girls over to Karen's? Like, what, what scene did we miss? I don't get it. But anyways, um, tell me in the comments if you know. If, if it's the fact that she spoke to Fatima, I don't, I don't really remember what happened in that conversation that made her be like, oh, we need to assemble all the girls. But um, yeah, so... <sighs> Calvin is talking to Sabrina. And he's just like, you know, I thought we could hang out. And I was just rolling my eyes because, you know, I don't really care for her and Calvin. But Sabrina's not my favorite. So if she gets with Calvin, I don't really care anymore. Like, I've seen her character enough throughout this point to know that she, I don't hate her, but I don't love her. So she could just end up with anybody. I don't care at this point. Um, so if they're trying to redeem Calvin... Even though they really shouldn't, not in terms of dating Sabrina. Perhaps you could keep him on the show and make him date somebody else. But um, if he's going to date Sabrina, I don't care. Like, do you? Hip hip hooray. Um, next, Fatima, Karen, and Zach. Okay, let's go to Karen and Zach. So Karen is doing what she got to do. Um, she, you know, feels like he's disrespecting Fatima. Just like I said, she saw disrespect and took that as a window. 
you know they they reminisce about the good times which was their first date do, do y'all realize that do y'all realize that the good times that they're reminiscing about was just their first date remember the first time you took me out that's it <laughs> i'm sorry i saw something on a page it was somebody who had who was upset with tyler perry pushing the whole they've been together for three years thing and y'all push it in the comments too when, when you're trying to say that it's okay for zach and karen to be acting crazy because it's been three years together but as the person pointed out and i actually agree with them right they were saying they were on and off for three years they weren't like steadily together in a loving deep relationship for three years zach didn't even they didn't even have their own place they stayed with karen zach had a bike and he drove karen's car like everything was karen zach was just like there for her to sometimes claim and that he would cheat on her all the time and then they would break up all the time and she had a side nigga who she was with enough for apparently him to fall in love with her i don't remember the side nigga plot maybe i missed something but it's okay like i've heard of, i've heard of it um a couple times in the comments but i don't remember like what season did they discuss that let me know in the comments below so you know they were just going on and on about how there was nothing that deep in the relationship to warrant all the craziness that's going on and you know when they put it that way i completely agree i never really cared about the they've been together three years stuff but guys come on this isn't the kind of relationship where three years really matters they were on and off for three years they were hurting each other for three years zach was being a demon for three years and karen was being sneaky for three years they're not good together they're not good for each other and y'all need to stop um like validating their codependent creepy soul tied abusive behavior bro like let it go just let them go anyways so karen is like come over tonight and drop it on me, me, me so he's like no i love fatima no that he goes let's get into zach and fatima i'm gonna say this and then i'll continue right i didn't appreciate in the conversation and in the preview when he says i'm not gonna i'm not gonna chase you anymore nigga yes you should she's dumb for even staying with you but yes you should why are you acting like there's no red flags about you and she's just being completely like okay you were kind of justified in the beginning but it's tiring now trying to justify myself to you you keep doing things that make her side up am i crazy am i crazy or does that keep throwing up red flags and then being confused as to why fatima keeps side-eyeing him like am i am i losing my mind here i don't i don't understand yes you have made significant changes we as the audience know that you're not going to cheat on her that's why some of y'all keep going so hard for zach in the comments whatever but if we were fatima and we don't know what we know i would sigh i him all the time too if i was dumb enough to stay if i was dumb enough to stay i would side eye him all the time all the time bro he just keep doing things and they just throw it back on her what about you and ian you need to give me great when, when he said give me grace i wanted to punch him in the throat <laughs> i was like nigga if you don't shut up give you grace i'm not even too sure why you didn't take karen's invitation for some woohooing in terms of sims 3 now some people are gonna come in and be like obviously he wouldn't take care of da, 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 da. but as you can see right it seems like especially right now karen is forgetting why she broke up with zach in the first place she's forgetting so obviously zach could forget why he was better off not with karen and falter it just is what it is i could see that happening okay i could see that happening one thousand percent so of course they end up getting back together because he gaslights her that's what it is to me i'm sorry yes um she could end up being with him and being happy but that would be purely fictional guys psa in real life if you're with a guy like gary and zach leave leave it doesn't matter how long it takes you to leave at some point this is not a fictional book where tyler perry can make them change in five seconds and never hurt you again or never or never embarrass you again leave please i beg i beg of you so 
Well, let's go on. Move on, right? He convinces her to stay, and then they're like, about to have sex or about to make out, whatever, right? Now we get to Karen is there, and Andy <laughs> has entered the Matrix and walks up on Karen. They're having a conversation. I spoke about it briefly. She's just in her full of herself. Karen is in her full of herself era. Y'all need to leave. I didn't even invite y'all. After Danny shut her down by saying, I'm going to do with Preston. She doesn't get on Danny anymore, but she ain't got nothing to say to them. She's very certain that Zach is going to come over. And that is, wow. Wow. Living la vida loca. Anyways, so Fatima walks in. And look, guys, Fatima is wrong for walking in. Okay, I'm not going to pick Fatima's side here. Um, I want Danny to pick her side because I want to be friends. But in reality, she's wrong. She knows Zach wasn't going to go there, so she could have just left her there to be embarrassed and to probably get mugged. Because why is your door open, ma'am? At least stay up and have him knock, dummy. She walks in. And all the girls are like, oh my god. Andy, in her rare moments of common sense, is like, this is Karen's house, though. You can't just walk into Karen's house. And so any way that Karen wants to act, I'm not upset. Because here's my thing about Fatima versus Karen, right? Karen has been rude to Fatima on multiple occasions. Multiple occasions where I wouldn't have minded if Fatima beat Karen's ass. I wouldn't have minded, right? Like when you went to the salon and found Zach with her, right? That was an open place. Yes, technically it's her salon area, but you are outside public domain, blah, 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 right? So if in that moment, which is just fucking you, you can slap her in the face or something. Totally justified because she was being so rude and she's been so rude to you continuously while you have done nothing but tried your hardest to be respectful. Even when Zach was being disrespectful. And you know what? I wish, I wish we could show Karen the footage of all the times that Fatima was on Karen's side and Zach was the one dogging Karen out. Do, do we remember that? Do we remember that? So, yes, Fatima, you're wrong for walking into her house. Don't do that. But my problem with you, Fatima, is that you had other opportunities where, where you could have socked her or come to her with this attitude. You have a right to have an attitude, but you do not have a right to walk into her house like this. You don't have a right to do that. Now, I love it for the drama, but it's not respectful. And I'm not going to pretend it's respectful just because I like Fatima. That's not what we're going to do here. We're not going to do that. I feel like Karen has been rude in many different capacities and fashions. And you could have beat her ass all the time. So don't knock if you buck now. Don't do that now. Like, you you, you lost the time to do it. You knew that man was not going to come. Let her be embarrassed. And Karen, stop being so delusional. This man is flip floppity. And he talked all sorts of crap about you. Okay? I wish I could show you, girl, all the things he said about you so that you can at least go back to hating him for, 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 for two more seasons. But anyway, we will see how the drama goes down in that episode. Uh, yeah. So that's about it. I think I intermingled what was going to happen in the previews. So we need to talk about that. But please tell me what you think down below as usual. I will respond to all of you. And this is Sister Saturday. Okay. Videos on Sister every Saturday. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope the show continues in this fashion. Because as long as Danny and Preston is doing good. I will be happy. Anyways. Goodbye my sires. Susu.